guaranteed you are healed. He's not just revealing it without you. You are healed. It, and it's by his stripes he's healing you. And the other one, it's kidneys. It's kidneys. It's kidneys. It's kidneys. You can bring them. It's not one. It's not, she's not the only one. It's not, you can bring them. It's kidneys. It's kidneys. You can bring them. It's kidneys. Who said you must sit down? <laughs> sit down. <laughs> the other one, it's kidneys. <laughs> Kidneys. Kidneys is not one. Because that one message, I got it while I was preaching. Kidneys, bring them this side. Bring them this side. I got the message while I was preaching. God loves you. What? What? Kidneys are not a portion. Hey! You are witchcraft. What? Yes. What? What? You leave here. Why? What? Huh? How, how did you enter here? How did you enter here? How did you enter here? What? What is it? Are you angry? Yes. Huh? Huh? What do you think? Why are you angry? What? You are annoying. Why are you angry? What? You are annoying. Okay. Today. Today, I go to you. It's only Jesus Christ who removes you from here. You leave those kidneys. You leave those kidneys. You leave those kidneys. Get out! Get out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You leave those kidneys. You separate from her. The mighty name of Jesus. You leave her completely. Why? Why? How did you enter her? I can see. I'll see you. Okay. I'll see you. I'll see you. Okay, without choice, you're living here. Without choice. Without choice. Without choice. Leave. 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 Get out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Without choice, you're living here. You're living here and you leave her family. You leave her family. Not only her, even the family. Those <laughs> ones. Well? I want to show them nonsense. All right. <laughs> no, there's something saying not only here, even the family. You are a disease giver in the family. Huh? Those ah. ones. I want to show them nonsense. Okay. Okay. Now, Jesus Christ is going to show you something something for the rest of the family not what you are talking about something wonderful happened and now I know Jesus touched and me so Jesus is touching the whole family this deliverance must not only be for him that's what I'm saying now for the rest of the those people are annoying. But 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 sin again. Yay! But but sin again. Banana but bitter kaimbon. They think they are better. What do they think? Kabai can say bitter barakadu hodi puti puti hodi chap. They think they are better. They make themselves better. Barakadu hodi mchadi puti di ho ho. Barakadi pe 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 pe. They think they are better buying all the livestock. No sense. No sense. So after this, they're going to buy more livestock. No. I'm still going to kill that livestock. So you're full of jealousy. Why are you fighting people in the progress? Huh? What? 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 Ah, uh, stop what? Speak louder. Speak louder. 
Our God does not sleep nor slumber. You are knowing. Hey, come, come here, come join. Matenana. Eh? You are boring. Yes, I can't be. You don't have a life, you are boring. Yes. Okay, here's the life of Jesus. Why don't you sleep? Okay, okay, two like you, keep it busy, got only. Hey, Kereba. Mm. I'm still going to show these ones. Who does she think she is? Mm. I'll okay. show them. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey! Yes! Hey! 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 You leave her <laughs> and the rest of the family. <laughs> this leg is troubling her. <laughs> I'm not going the time is up. <laughs> you, you leave them completely. You leave them completely. You leave them completely. You leave them completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You leave them completely. Spiritual operation is happening on her. Spiritual operation is happening on her. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. We throw you in the pit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, sometimes we say kidney, and when they go to the hospital, to the doctor, kidney, kidney. No, it's more than this. It's family issue. It's family issue. Check, check how you're feeling on the kidneys. What's your name? Kibash. Who? Kibash. From? <laughs> Boxback and Limpopo. Boxback and Limpopo. <laughs> Boxback and Limpopo, bless you. Yeah, check now. How are you feeling? Huh? Kidney. Huh? Huh? Kidney. I'm so crawler, Papa. I'm so crawler. I don't know why I have the kidney pains. And then how's the leg? Ludo. Yo, Papa, Ludo, I don't know why I have the kidney pains. And now? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. The leg was paining, but now I don't feel it anymore. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Let's go for Jesus Christ. God loves you. I was praying for you and the family, no? because this is witchcraft. Hey, Papa. From the family, no? Hey. I am my baby. I'm my baby. We don't say that. We don't say that. No, my baby, hello. I can't. Ki bali le bali, I can't. I can't live at two hours. I live at. Baba, what's it? Let the Zulus live at two hours. Don't worry, relax. All the tribes, there's also disobedient people, ne? Don't worry, God loves you. You are a today. Don't worry, God loves you, ne? So, this is what has been performed against the family, ne? I don't want to talk too much because already when I was punya, naker giri bapila, when I was punya, I'm trying to put it, you know, let's not mention names. 
names, don't mention names. And some of them are good, not all of them, ne? Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. So we are released from the witchcraft. And I'm praying for the rest of you and the rest of the family. Ne? That's for you and the family. Ne? You feel nothing, ne? You feel nothing, ne? God loves you. So, so don't worry. Whoever you connect with, whatever tribe that you connect with, I'm going somewhere. We just read. There mustn't be any distinction. We are one. You get it, now? So, whoever does this, let's fight the rulers, authorities, and principalities in the realm of the spirit. Let's not fight flesh and blood. You get it, ne? Yep. So, you feel good now, ne? So, she suffers the same leg as well. She suffered the same leg mm. as well. And Baba ki kupa tswarelo hape. Okay, kupa tswarelo he. Ke nna ke o ish. Huh? Ke nwana o ke wa ka ke. Hmm. O na le mo kileng ka re a a ke na relationship e nwe. Eh ka morwa. Ka morwa ne? Ke morwile ene ka rwa nthwelo re lona le blessise mare ne le soka le blessa ka nna go e. Hmm. Bona Yes, I'm trying to help you. Let's not go to tribes. There mustn't be any distinction. Are we clear? We must all know that Jesus Christ has come to make us one. Let's fight these demons and not the tribes. Our mother was asking for forgiveness, stating that um, her daughter, who's standing next to her, was in a relationship which our father has had blessed, um, but then she felt that the daughter was in a wrong relationship. Um, and when our father was asking, from which tribe is the man from? Our mother then said that he is from he he is a vendor, um, but then she she cursed that relationship because then she felt that our father did not bless it at the right time as um, the the man that um, the fa our father prophet Sir Daniel blessed for the daughter to be in a relationship. The mother felt that he was not good enough. Therefore, she's asking for forgiveness regarding that. So, you must be careful as a parent. No. Okay. You said, my baby, Nanya like a vendor. Let me vendor what? Aha, thank you. How much? I is so rope and I build it up a bow vendor, Baba. I build it up a ya. Come, ho, see my size with silica. Hey, I can't go move in I don't so, know whether it's because he's a vendor. Now, listen to this, ne? never ever as a parent. Open your mouth to kiss your child. Even if you can jump a kiss and take it to him, you are kissing her. Keep quiet. Never ever as a parent, you get it. Even when a child, you see, if a child can make a mistake or whatever, Rebuke. There's a difference between rebuking, correcting, and cursing. So many parents curse children thinking that they are rebuking. It's not correction. You are cursing them. You are cursing them. And it's sin before God. You are sinning before God. You are sinning before God. Well, no, I'm you taking high blood pressure. I'm taking high blood pressure pills. You hear now. You really wish your, that your child can die. You see, it's a case. So you wish that your child can die. You see how angry she is. Of which it's bad. 
I love it in Matthew 10, 28. Do not be afraid of anyone who can kill the flesh, but fear the one who can destroy both the body and the spirit. So your wish is to be like the one who's going after the flesh. I was wrong, Papa. Huh? Yes, don't ever, don't ever, don't ever try. Don't ever. Now, you want to see your child getting blessed more than you? You know it's dangerous the thing. Uh, 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 you see now. You see now. Parents must be blessed more than their children. Must be blessed more than their children. Yes? Okay. Genesis 12. God says, I will curse them that curse you. So when you curse them, what did you do to yourself? Thank you. Thank you. I curse myself as well. God said, I will curse them that curse you. And God says, I will do it. When you think you are cursing here, God says, I will do it now. God steps in and he goes after you. All the witchcraft that we see coming out here came after you because you opened the door. Mm. You opened the door. Mm. Mm. God says, I will curse them that curse you and I will bless them that bless you. So walk by faith and understand this. You don't have to do anything. Anybody who blesses you, they will come with testimonies. I will bless them that bless you. And anybody that curses you, God says, I will do it. I will curse them. So those who curse you, just look. What will happen to them? Mm. So your child is a believer. She believes. Mm. But now you curse her. What did you do to yourself? But you also suffer with this leg, no? This leg as well. So you, when did it start? You, when did it start, the leg? 2023. 20, yeah. 2023. Yes. So you went, you cursed her. With, now she suffers the same thing that you suffer. She became angry, that's fine. You get it? But you, you are suffering. It became worse. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not do that. Don't ever, don't ever try. Don't. There's a difference between correcting people and cursing them. Don't do that. No. I'm, so sorry. I'm doing deliberately. You see, I'm speaking just simple kidney. I know it goes far. We feel like something eats here. Hey, you carry a pain. Yes, it's a life. It's like it's eating here. Mm. So who said you have kidney issues? It's witchcraft. I'm doing deliberately when I say kidneys. Because you feel it's eating. It's alive. Yeah. Huh? Sometimes it can go heartbeat. Yes. So what type of a kidney problem is that? No, don't. Let's defile your child and ask God for forgiveness and your child you ask for forgiveness. Forgive me, Tabi Singh. I'm sorry. Get out! Get out! What? Hey. What? 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 Are you angry? Enough going away now. Oh, enough? I'm enough of you. What makes you enough? Yes, yes. What makes you enough? 2024. Since it all, my January, don't know one more. Every day, you are number one thing. I say, oh. Since the beginning of 2024 until now, you bore me. Every day is you. What's happening every day? Since, What's happening every day? Since this age, home and this one, this one. Yarr. What's happening every day? Yes, yes. Are you angry? <laughs> you live here. You separate from her. No, okay. I'm never leaving this Never. Place. Stand up, eh? Because they never stand up. You'll never go. I'm not going anywhere. How did you enter here? How did you enter here? Huh? How did you enter here? This family bores and annoys me. 
So how did you enter them? Now I'm sick. This is nonsense. Your time is up. You're leaving. That's what I'm saying. It's witchcraft against the family. I'm just saying kidneys. Mm-mm. It's witchcraft. So, once you live like this, a door is open. Any, anything just prospers easily against you. Mm, mm, she yeah. didn't have this before. She just got it recently. Mm. You had it long ago. <laughs> Believe her. You'll never come back to her. You'll never come back to her. You come out by the rules. <laughs> Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Christ. Never, never, never. You are without choice. Did you see? Did you see her mom? Did you see her mom? Okono ipona kamara mama. Okono ipona. Kero okono ipona kamara mama. I feel I'm not going anywhere. Do you hear me? Okay. Okay. Yes, I, I, yes. They are all mine. I've long done with her. You leave all of them. You leave all of them. We pierce in that stomach. We pierce in that stomach. We pierce in that stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pierce in that stomach. My Jesus Christ, we pierce in that stomach. <coughs> Take out all the poisons. Take out. Take out. Take out all the poisons out of his stomach. All the poisons out by the roots. Out by the roots. All the presence out by the roots. My Jesus Christ, we pierce in that stomach and you leave the womb. You also leave the womb. You leave completely. You leave completely. I'm not leaving. You're leaving completely. Who do you think you are? You even giving her children. That man will never come back. I'm telling you. I've made sure that he doesn't come back. Your time is up. You live completely. There's no man yes. in the head. But the sort of the spirit in the head, you live it completely. You live it completely. Pierce in the head. By the sword of the spirit, you live. Your time is up. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Christ. Pierce in the head. By the sword of the spirit, you live completely. Tell out. The mighty name of Christ. You'll never return. You'll never return to this body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You'll never return. Hello. 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 God's greetings. How are you doing? I'm fine, Baba. You're good. How are you feeling? I can shout, Baba. How's the leg? Check how you feel. No? Get right. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. God loves you. Let's live for Jesus Christ. So, let's, let's learn something out of this. No? Witchcraft is there. But never aggravate it. Like when you have differences and you speak. You curse the marriage. You curse the marriage. Yeah, I see that now, Papa. You cursed her marriage, and it's your daughter. 
That's why I'm doing delivery when I say kidneys. No, when they come, I know this is no. It's witchcraft. It's not just ordinary kidneys. Yeah. You get it? Mm. So let's let's forgive people of Limpopo and look at yourself, <laughs> what you have done. Because why does witchcraft prosper against you when God has said, I will curse them that curse you? In other words, those that bewitch you, I will deal with them. Why did it prosper against you? You opened the door. You opened the door. You, you get it now, no? Yeah. So, God says, when they curse you, when they do whatever, I, God says, I, he's actually saying, I will do it for you. I will do it for you. You just relax. So, let God do it for you. And leave your child. You cursed a marriage. How are you feeling about it? <clears throat> uh, Papa, <clears throat> um, I think it was about two weeks ago that I manifested here in church of the spirit of unforgiveness. Mm. <clears throat> you prayed for me. And ever since you prayed for me, I've been feeling better. Have you forgiven? Yes, I have. Thank you. Let's go for Jesus. <clears throat> Just forgive and forget. Also forgive your mom, no? Yes, Papa. Forgive mom for doing that. I forgive her. <laughs> you forgive her? Eh? Yes. Yeah. Mama. Yes, sir. You just ask God, God forgive me. Yes, Papa. For not managing my family well. Yeah. For not managing my family according to the word of God. Yeah. You get it, eh? Yeah, Papa. Manage your family according to God's word. Yes, Papa. Never find yourself doing that. Mm. Do you get this? Yes, Papa. The, I'm serious. Parents ought to prosper more than their children. I'm serious. Children don't have to take care of their parents. No, it doesn't have to happen that way. God said be fruitful and multiply. He didn't say there will be a time of retirement. You retire being fruitful and multiplying. There's no retirement that is mentioned there. You're supposed to prosper more and she must learn from you. Elderly women must teach young women how to love their husband. You couldn't even do that. Thank you, my friend. Indeed, I've never done that. It says elderly women must teach young women how to love their husband. So if you lack love, how will you teach her how to love? She would know how to love the husband. But we don't do that. That's why I'm saying kidney. No, no, don't worry when I say kidney. There's more than a kidney. There's more than? Kidney. A kidney. You get it? But God loves you. God has said to you, you're forgiven, ne? Yes, God loves you. There's still a chance for you, ne? No, I know, Papa. You know. <laughs> hey, you want to marry you. <laughs> Tata. Kimufili. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up. Let, Holy Kamotskalibella too much. Every man, your eyes must be down. That's what God has for her. There's a good chance. She's got a chance. Bless you. Bless you. She's got a good chance. Let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> She's got a good, a good chance. Stand up. Don't worry, all is well, ne? God loves you, ne? God loves you. You do want to get married, ne? Yes, Papa. So, don't worry. She will never kiss you. If she tries, run. Come here. Yes, Papa. Run here. Yes, daddy. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'll never repeat that. I'm going to say, I'll never repeat that. I'm going to say, Yes, please realize this. Ne? Please realize this. You do it, you open a door for you. And I saw Honor Rapel and Niki Honor Rapel, the Honor Fast, or Fast on the Honor Mara, Axa, Axa, Swana Lipil, Hagi Rapel. 
No, I'm no longer prayerful. Um, in terms of fasting, I can fast, but not as I used to. You, you in forget your dreams. Hey, hey, mm. hey. Yeah, don't worry. God loves you. God is going to bless you right now. Ne? God is going to bless you. Ne? Um, Papa, yesterday I had a dream of my ex-husband. And I had a, a baby boy. And it seemed like in the dream, he, he, he left me with the child. No, there's hope for you. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. And I'm declaring it's going to happen no matter what. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. God loves you. Be restored. I declare dreams that you've lost coming back. The prayer life that you've lost coming back. Life light comes upon you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You saw what is common? Their leg. The leg. Common. And it, it will trouble the rest of the family. Don't be only your problem. Because it's witchcraft that comes against the family, the whole family. Yeah, yeah, Papa. You get it? Mm. It's witchcraft that comes against the whole family. So please, focus on God. Don't ever. I love it when God says, I will do it for you. I will curse them that curse you. So you don't have to do anything. Relax. Thank you, Papa. There's still a chance for you, ne? A good one. I know, Papa. A good one. <laughs> A good one. Bless you. Go give your testimonies. Thank you, Papa. Pick up your child. You have forgiven your child, and she has forgiven you. Take care. Take care. Go give your testimonies. But we understand this, ne? I believe we learn something from this, ne? We learn something, ne? Because people, people live like that. I don't know why. Any little mistake that the child does, even when the child is wrong, even it's not a mistake, don't even try to kiss. Blessed viewers, we're in Rawani Center Ministries. This is the year of the joy set before us by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With that being said, there's been a lot that has been happening in Rawani Center Ministries. Um, deliverances, healings, and also restorations of families, and the breaking of curses, and also taking away witchcraft. So we are to hear from our beautiful mother and daughter as to what is happening in their family, and how did it come about that this witchcraft entered their family. Um, starting with the mother. Anna, could you please tell us your name and where you're coming from? Oh, I'm Kibashi from Boxback. Yes. Um, Mama, when you were manifesting, the demon actually, Papa indicated that it was witchcraft and the demon was actually against um, your livestock and also the part of the kidney, which was the initial prophecy that the man of God has given. And the other one, it's kidneys. It's kidneys. It's kidneys. It's kidneys. You can bring them. It's not one. It's not, she's not the only one. It's not, you can bring them, it's kidneys. It's kidneys. You can bring them, it's kidneys. So when you came to the front, uh, the demon manifested concerning your livestock, that you, you were all getting a lot of livestock and also those things. Could you please tell us what has been happening in that area? Are you in farming? What is going on? Yes. Kina lady home and then a little booty, lady sheep and chickens. So little na din jake na little na es li di bona le bele li le la ha jo lo ka ne ke manifesta li din jake le tsona ke na le tsona so mara ne ke sa ko re ne ke bona gore na le something e tsa halang especially mo go le ruo ka hore o nona le nako e di ha se di tsoala ko re di puditsa ka di tsoala ma twins 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 and then di homo every year di di kitola 14 ya di calves and then di pudi jo lo ka di tsoala twins twins mara di nkutso na ha di tsoa ha di thola bana di followsa ko re bana ba timba di thola like e ma miscarriage like yes eno mama ko bela re tlhasa gore la ko ko le nang ko teng ke ke mahaeng ka ba ga go ke ke plot o ke ke le ntse mo ba thomba ba yang yena mo gara ba thoba ya okay mo re dulang teng ke ke ko mahaeng ene batho be re dulang le bona ke batho ba sing ba sa dumeleng ko modimo 
eh bakena di cult churches ne and the baba ambassa bilisa di loza di ancestral spirit especially di sangoma se or di tsotse jolo ka tsotsa se twa bon di traditional herbs we bon so ke mo fe be linye ke nyetsong go yona e jwalo e yena ngle na di nirola na le tlhokomela yang horo like le skebela la 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 thegela ka re ngela no ntse mo thonyena yena ga ba thontsene ba le ba lebeletse le ruwa la lena ba ka tla ba le tsela lona ka papa re di kutsa lena ka pa se seng se se tlang se fete yena ke ntse se neng gore la se bere ke se gore le khono go o sireletsa le ruwa e na ntwe ke se be di sang ke tsela anointing oil ka hara ho metsi di le ka hara di 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 kidding di 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 shi tse re fa di re re fi dang di profolotse ke tshela no enteng o ile ke ke holy communion ene le tsona di profolotsa ka nna ke ya di anointa hore ke tsireletse di profolotsa ka ka hore ne ke bona hore ke o ka re ona le problem ko re jela se ka re ke nga ta holo mm a mo mo re le ba ke neng ko re bolela ka go tle mo hape mo mo kidney ya lena le ka bothata ba lotu e kitni entomile last year ka bo march so ine ka re hona le ntone ke utlwa heartbeat entshwentse na kwetelle so yona entshwentse before le lutu ha ke re and then ka mora o ka tlo thoma o fila pain le molutu lutu la ka o seng ha ke tsoa ke ya ko maybe ke ya ko toilet and then ke thoma o utlwa hore le a locka mara and le ka mo fast ka mo lo na lo ho tshisa so keep ke tsasa anointing oil ntse ke continue ke tsasa anointing oil mara ne ke se awe hore maybe ka ba ile hore ke witchcraft e no really we have mama our blessed fuse our mother was just telling us that um she does have a livestock uh it's actually cows uh goats chickens um even her dogs are multiplying usually mm. so we are waiting for cats to multiply also yes. because cats are good for the farm and they take out your rats um also the blessed fuse as she was indicating that where she's staying is actually in a rural area and she's surrounded by people from occultic churches and also people from who are using I have like traditional doctors or uh, witches and all those people so she was able to detect that the thing is actually spiritual hence she did not consult with a doctor concerning her leg because she could con- she could detect that it was uh, a spiritual matter so she continued using anointing oil and also the thing that she uses for her life so to multiply she uses a uh, anointing oil also holy communion she also anoints the those baskets that she would you call the dishes that they used to uh to feed the the animals on the, on the farm and also when she she mentioned also that uh her calves actually she would get 14 in a year and you know that a cow actually goes like for nine months like a, a normal like a human being so it every year she would get 14 calves and her goats would actually uh multiply by giving twins each and every single time however she realized that there was a problem when it came to her sheep you know is a sheep and uh, those sheep actually when she was they were actually giving stillborns those children those babies were actually the lambs would come out dead so that's when she detected that there was a problem with the sheep and she started using more of the anointing oil because she realized that with her surrounding usually there was a lot of jealousy going on however we thank the lord that that has been exposed tonight and also we believe that uh, there will be more multiplication in your farm in your farming and you'll actually reap a lot from the lord so coming to our sister on the side we are to hear from her as to what is happening with her relationship and how was it affected with uh, what the mother had said uh, could you please tell us your name and also where you coming from uh, my name is Ntabi Seng I'm also from Boxback concerning your relationship could you please again take us through it as to what is happening in your relationship how did you meet the, the men that god uh, the men of god has approved of and then when it comes to your relationship being cast and how did it affect you and also affect your relationship with your mother okay um prior to meeting um my boyfriend in 2019 i had a dream where papa uh came and told me I was to meet him so um 
having met him, um, I, we later then discovered that he's HIV positive, which was something that I, I, I told my mother in the hope that um, she would understand. But obviously, after telling her that, she did not take it well and she uttered words, words of curses upon my life and the relationship. Okay, fine. I continued with the relationship. Um, we started having issues um, up until we separated in January uh, this year. Um, so Papa encouraged me and told me that I should not go into any other relationship. I should wait. Um, so that's what I've been doing, basically. And then two weeks ago, when I was here at church, I also manifested of the spirit of unforgiveness, which is uh, obviously that's how I was affected after everything that had happened previously with, with, with my mom. Um, I had actually thought that I had forgiven her and things were okay until uh, Papa then mentioned that there's a spirit that I had taken over. So uh, even if I wanted to forgive, I couldn't because of, of that spirit. So I got delivered from that, thank God. And here we are today. We both got delivered. <laughs> and I glorify the Lord for that. No, actually, we thank God for such a beautiful restoration. You, know, you need your mother, and as a, a young woman growing up, you need her wisdom and guidance. So it's good when it's on a good ground, on a good relationship. Uh, concerning the, the leg also, that you were also affected with the leg, which came from the witchcraft that uh, was affecting mama on here. So it uh, transferred also onto you. Could you please take us through that? What was happening with your leg? Um, I started having issues in December, so every morning I would wake up, um, I would also struggle to walk. I'd actually have to walk around a few minutes before my feet could be fine. I would feel pain underneath and a bit of like heat. Um, so now I just took it as maybe um, getting old. <laughs> I thought old age was kicking in. Little did I know that it was something that was passed on uh, from my mom unto me. Okay, now that the man of God has ministered unto you, like, how do you feel right now in your leg? Now I feel great. <laughs> I don't feel anything, to be honest. I'm fine now, yes. No, actually, we thank the Lord. Um, Mama, coming unto you, uh, you were also struggling with your leg. So could you please take, tell us what was happening with your leg? How was it affecting you? On also, you're a person who is busy with farming also. So when you have to go on with your daily routines, how was that affecting you? It uh, affected a lot because Nikisa every morning because especially with red lock nearly lock how and then nearly pain before next s faster than the way nearly go on ki hona ki ze jinto ka hona so relationship time Peki fila hore maybe o ka ra habono re o kenye o tlo o kila bona ngwana ha ka bana le a a a a a wela ka hara problem e be ya bus 2 ya bus 3 ke be ke fila hore o tshwantse a realize hore maybe modimo a ma abela bana o tshwantse a be single a emele modimo wa bona ganthe nna ke rong so thank god because because <laughs> 
kahem mama yen nung hone nung hole ro nile le di hole khona ha hone le bar ke thasalo ya 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 buloi mo mo meleng en kalba kala hore nile la ro ha ka ngwana ka papa bula ro ro ha ka motho mongwe wa ithu ha ka wena en mudimo le u wa hore ba ile ngore ke ba hai fo ba ro ha ka di tho ha ka tso di tla mo go wena ka he ngwana ha e le motho le ngore o rata mudimo ya neng ke ntse le ngore o ithuti le molontso tshetse re ghetseng le ba tsa di ba bang go hai ke ntse le ngore o ka ba bolela sona gore he tla mo di ka mo neng tsa mana tsa tsa bana ba bona tse le ngore ba di neleke modimo ba di tshware ya ndiotse ntweng ka e bolela ngore eh ke kopa tshware le go modimo ke ntse phoso ke ro ha ke le se modimo a se blessa na ka nka hore ha se a blessa ya wa iba so go ba tswa ding ntweng ka e bolela ngo hore bana ba rona ke di blessing from god and the return se go hlompe modimo fe ta rena di feeling sa rena sometimes it reke nya go di problem mathate ngwa o tlosis because in na ke ile according to my feeling di feeling sa ka hore a di bile wrong so ntse re ka ka e botsa mbatswa di gore a re hudise bana according the way modimo wa batlang re ba hudise ka teng and re re lead ke modimo not to lead ourselves why one so ke le ne a lot today is eh ya nna re khono bona hore account ga ke e ko re go uno wena no tsho fa tsa fela di lo ira hala mo phelo ya ai ke tlo tsho fa tsa s nentse ke tsho fa tsa no matter ne lo re ke be ke rua ka bentse ke ba bana ba ka bentse ke ba blessa yes bentse ke ba blessa ka se ba se batlang ke be ke ba blessa it's just that ke ntse wrong re ke bolela ha ndi mo yena ene ke kopa tshware le go modimo yes our blessed viewers our mother was actually uh, explaining to us that uh, concerning the relationship with of our sister with our brother whom we are soon to meet hopefully um actually what happened was that um she was scared as a parent that her child has been in the first relationship got disappointed coming into the second one got a disappointment and now she's getting into a third one she was actually scared and felt as though as if like maybe she was supposed to just stay single and just await god at that time but she was not aware that that time of god that she was talking about was had actually arrived and actually she's actually as a parent she's remorseful of what has happened because she cares her child but then she's someone who's uh, actually appreciates and love her children just as she feels she realizes that in this area she had gone wrong by kissing her child and now that she sees that she has done wrong she encourages other parents also that they should also be able to support the relationship that God give unto their children they should discern that this one is from God and be able to support their children instead of kissing them because she said that today she had learned a lot through this that it is not try to kiss your children because the kiss also comes back unto you because the word of God says when you kiss other people the those who kiss you I will kiss them so the child is a believer and the mother is also the people but however in this case God teach decided to teach all of us a lesson that even though you're a believer and you kiss another person it does not mean that you're right but I will also I will stand with the one that you're kissing and also reprimand you so blessed viewers as we are listening from whom we believe that that we've learned a lot from this one and also to have the spirit of discernment and hold on to the word of god um, mama um in closing we would like to share for what would be your word of encouragement unto young ladies out there who are and our sometimes in sings age and some of them they are younger than her who are go who have been going through the same challenge of relationships some of them they've given up they don't even want to um engage with men anymore thinking that you know what i'm just going to stay alone but then what would be your word of encouragement unto them as aligned to the will of god concerning relationships a eh, ntweng ka ibolela nko hore nako yeng e hangata bana re tshwantse nako ngwe ha re bona dintho re ko ba tswa ding ba rona ka re sometimes se ba tswa di nako ngwe bona ba fitile go tsona pele and then ba ithute hore ba bolelele ba tswa ba be open for ba tswa di ba bona ha ke re hore ngwe se ka tlotsa matseleng e rong o se awe ha ke re so le rona ba tswa di re tshwantse re ithutho mamela bana ba rona re na 
ba fila joan risque ga ya according to our feelings car sometimes ro le rona di feelings ta rona di di barong so en ka ka nka ele tsamba tswa di gore a re mamele modimo a re theletse modimo re na yena o renye ha ile gore maybe re sa gone gore rutlwe the way modimo a bolelang ka teng ha re batle di advice from especially ko di these disciples men of god re gone bo utlwa gore na o reng ka taba e jolo before he conclude and the wrong decisions re nka di wrong decisions ka bana ba rena yes uh blessed views our mother was actually encouraging every young lady that who's going uh, through um relationship challenges and also the parents also involved that uh, it is important as a young lady that or a young person when you are going through relationship things that you should consult with your parents and also ask them because they might have passed through the same thing that you are going through so they might be able to advise you and also as parents they should also be able to listen to their children and before making conclusions about anything else seek counsel from those who are of the higher uh, wisdom be it disciples or uh, men of god before making conclusions or maybe making uh, remarks that will end up hitting our children so we believe that we have all learned from this and we thank god for such a beautiful restoration as our sister tabi we believe that you have forgiven our mother and then from today onward it's just going to be a jolly happy family so how do you, how do you feel right now that you have forgiven your mom because um the last time you manifested continuing the spirit of unforgiveness and were minister unto but today when you were actually like saying it how the, how do you feel right now um i feel like god just put a stamp on what has already happened previously um i'm very happy you know this was unexpected to be honest but i'm relieved that it happened today um to the both of us So was there any strain in or on your relationship uh, between you and mom? Um well previously yes um but um after the the deliverance I got uh, I, I was free <laughs> uh, been, uh been free yes you no know, we bless the lord our uh, bless of yours forgiveness is actually important because when you forgive someone you are actually freeing yourself from whatever had that had uh, transpired so we blessed the lord for that you were able to forgive irregardless of her not coming for to us for forgiveness or not waiting for today for this manifestation but taking a step on your own and forgiving your mother uh, blessed viewers and young people out there and anybody else in the world that it is important to forgive our parents because god has used them to bring us into this world either they come to us for forgiveness or not it is our duty to forgive them and to to realize that they are the important vessel that brought us into this world. So from us in Ravani Center Ministries and our father, Professor Suhar Daniel, it is to God be the glory.